Thompsons, who had the previous tenure at the helm up there. Hayden, she's able to slide back out on the wing. Full speed ahead. Danielle Hayden unimpeded to the top of the 18. She'll slip one past Jones. Danielle does her dirty. Did that, and then she slipped it in that far post there. Another look. She's so valuable as an outside back, able to push forward, of course. Chance here for the Cowgirls and a foul. Do they call anything? No, I mean, no. that was a, a really good recovery by Danielle Hayden. Coleman has that athleticism, one touch into space, and she's free to goal. Here's another look at that play. Yeah, she gets the ball. Really great recovery from Hayden. Down, but it was blocked by one of the Baylor players. There's the cross in the box again. Raina trying to get up, trying to focus on their last pass and that service. And Baylor showing so far that they're very good at getting that ball into the danger. Hanging around. Here come the Wildcats with an offensive chance with Entz. Entz getting to the top of the box. She's got a laser of a leg. It's deflected as Danielle Hayden knocked it away. Team the third way better than me. I think it's just one of those things where you maintain your composure. That's what. It's dangerous with her speed. Tommy takes it back to the middle. Boy, how about that defense? What a play by Hayden. How about two plays by Hayden? Checks in. And you're right, Stark was, was winding up for that shot, and Hayden just laid out. And then she kept going and got a second foot on it. Got to keep Danny from going too far up line. She does a good job to keep her in front of her and keep her from going out as she's doing right now. Hayden intercepts this pass, now having some fun with her dance partner. Puente. And that, again, is why we've enjoyed Danielle Hayden so much in the Big 12. Well, Baylor came out with the best offensive chance of either team to start the second half. K-State's had the advantage lately. Hayden trying to change that. Baxter fouls coming to run her off the ball. And Hayden just has great speed and great touch on the ball. Beats things out wide. And there's Rivers. Got a foot on it able to engage both Susie and Hayden and they kind of got in each other's way yeah yeah and it's a shot that was deflected and Rivers just being such a big physical presence up top able to really create a chance for Louisville great job by Hayden there sliding in last yes minute she did that. oh the switch Hayden gets in the position with acres of space again she makes a nice long ball though instead of taking that space Takes place inside the box. And you can see the foul committed by TCU. And it's 4-0. So it was a score directly off a corner by Lamparis. And now Kentucky has evened it right back to the attack. Come the I've been so impressed with Danielle Hayden. She has clamped down on every attacker. McCaskill. Oh, what a flip that was. My goodness. Hayden hustles back with a nice defensive play. Yeah, and Hayden's speed really helped her get to that ball.
They just, it's like two weeks, bam, here we go. <laughs> Come on in. You bet. And you can include on the men's side football in that yeah. the big challenge. Big That's ball it. has Reagan on space. Baxter trying to get around Hayden. Boy, Hayden again. Good job to get it back across midfield. Stake, especially for Oklahoma. Hayden chips one to the back post. Nobody home. Nobody will run and cover oh, more ground tonight chance. than Danielle Hayden. Gets the ball wide. And Hayden serves a, delivers a oh. good ball across. Gorman to Hayden. Jinx trying to close from behind. Hayden around two Bulldogs. Angled up with Thomas and no whistle. Hayden with nice defense. Preventing the Tigers from switching the field. Hayden on a big run. She's... Jinx. Hayden cleanly sends that one in touch to impede the attack. Start up top again for Arkansas. We may have double and triple teaming. They're going to have to give the ball up and hope to get it back. There's a nice run. Here's Crescetti. Good job by Sydney. Now they want to get the counter going for USF along the far side of the field. Daniel Hayden trying to hold on there, trying to track back against the end and did a nice job.